Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. So I did just come into the mine and I literally dug like one block lower than we did in the last episode. And I was planning to maybe just break this pickaxe, get some more iron, and then maybe time lapse some more digging. But Jesus Christ, look at this. If we... Look at this. I've never been so stressed looking at a cave before. You could drown in here. And last episode when we found this, I was like, oh, I should dig this out so that we have, like, gravel for concrete. But I just had a gut feeling, I guess, and didn't. But this is frightful. We can get air from these, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I hear skeletons. That's not a good sign. Alright, there is some iron right here. So let's see how practical it is to mine. Not very. Okay. So let's go back here, get some air. Oh my goodness. Okay. I hear skeletons everywhere. What is going on? Okay, let's do this. And let's grab this, right? That way we can come over here, place it down, shift over. Beautiful. Okay. So there's definitely some baddies. There's definitely a cave under this monstrosity. Let's just see if there's anything else that looks like easy pickings. Is that iron? That is. Okay. This is crazy. I wonder if this is like the strat now. Cave and cliff update. Mining in underwater caves with a super slow pickaxe. Sounds like the vibe to me. So I think we'll grab this little pocket of iron. I just wanted to show you guys this, especially in case I die in here. What just happened? Can I go up here? air. Wow. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get over here, see if there's anything else worth anything. Alright, good. They really, this really feels like a video game level. This kind of concept of like I don't know, mining, I guess. I do want a lot of this. Can you break this? Like, can I pick that up? I can. Okay. So we might collect some of this. So I'm going to maybe hop this in a time lapse. We'll pick up some dripstone. Hopefully not let it fall on us. Okay, so if the top one breaks, the rest falls. All right. All right, guys, so I will see you... Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I will see you guys again in a second after we collect some dripstone because I have an idea for a project this episode and it does involve the drippiest of dripstones. Ah! Okay. No, thank you. No, sir. Never mind. We don't need any dripstone. In fact, I've never even met anyone named dripstone in my life. No, thank you. I'm good. I am all set. Screw that cave. I ain't no way I'm ever going back down there.
Okay, now we can be done. We got what? 14? 14 is pretty good, I think. How do, how does it work? Do, does do you how do you farm this stuff? Does anyone know? Anyone know how to farm dripstone? Do do you just like gather some of this and then it drips out of it? Also, where is that going? All right, so that's just gonna float there. I guess. There's four. All right, we'll see how that works. All right, so I will see you guys back up at the house. We'll get some iron, and next time I'll see you, we'll be in a mining time lapse. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Welcome back, everyone. And today, we're just going on a little mining adventure. Ideally... If the world's worst menaces would just die. Okay. Is that all of them? It's literally like having spiders in your house. Those creepers are more spider-like than real spiders. Like just trying to... Is that one? No, that's a flower. Okay. Just trying to make sure that you're not going to get snuck up on by one of those losers. But I think we're fine. I think we're good. There was a witch over there during the nighttime, but I do not see one now, which is a great sign. Okay, so all of our iron should be smelted. We should have some sticks. Just do three of these. All right, so I will see you guys back down in the mine. Actually, wait a darn second. Now, this is not permanent, but we're just going to do... That? No, I'm more of a minecrafter than that. That wouldn't make sense. What do I have to do to get it to form dripstone? You know what? One second. Okay. My genius has been finished. So we need this and we need a bucket. I believe in the last episode we were able to put a chest up here, and I just dumped some things in it. Chest, dripstone. Okay. I wonder if it has to be a source block. I hope not. Even if it does, who cares? Okay. So we're just going to do something like this. Something like that. Put a water bucket. Now, like I said, this is temporary. Haha! Ha Haha! Ha. So maybe if we come back, there will be dripstone there. Okay, so now we can cut and jump into the mine. Three, two, one. Alright, welcome back everyone. To be honest, that trip was not as successful as I had hoped. 
dripstone, not dripstone, deep slate is the most annoying thing I think I've ever had to mine in my life. But we did get enough for a new axe and a new iron a uh, bleh, iron pickaxe with five left over. That is not great. I was hoping we could at least have armor. But I suppose that is not in the cards for today. So I did have a project that I wanted to work on for today. But now I am wondering how possible it really is going to be with our lack of resources. But where there is a will, there is a way. And I think we have a pretty strong will. This block also is not close enough to the water because I've tilled it like several times and it hates me. But the first thing I want to do is pick a spot. Hmm. You know, I could use this. I was hesitant just because it's kind of small. Yeah, and this outer edge kind of ruins my idea. This could work well. Oh my god, that's a death trap. Hmm. Or do we convert this into a working... It's this little edge. It's too close to the edge. This is my, this is my issue right now. This is my problem. And how am I going to solve it? Um, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. That was scary. Let's get cracking. Okay, so we're going to hop in a little montage right here. And we're just going to collect up a bunch of resources, okay? And I'm not going to explain any of them to you. So don't expect an explanation until we get cracking and lacking. All right, three, two, one, go.
right, everyone? And as the sun sets or rises, whoa. What does that look like from in here? Whoa. That is vibey. That is vibey. And your setting, right? Nice little moon set. Bro, who's making all the noise? Christ. Okay. So we did get... Um... I will not say all, but a decent amount of materials that I require. I think we're just gonna come down here. That was a terrible shot. And one more. Thank you. Alright, so we're just gonna come here and gather up some sand. That was a nice little exploratory jog around our area. I don't think I've been that way. I did go that way a little bit. I also thought it was pretty cool that when we found the ice mountain, if you guys noticed, I knew to turn because when we spawned in, we noticed it. Just the little small things, you know what I'm saying? Small details make big changes. What does that even mean? I don't know. Seagrass is a really nice texture. Kind of wish normal grass looked a little more seagrass-like. Or animated. That, that would also help. You can really tell sometimes in Minecraft what is the dated features and what are not. Grass that moves. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? 24 glass? That is well over enough. Did I hit him so hard he gave up? Die. All right. Is that guy have a trident? No. I'd be dead already. Okay, why is this so shaded? Interesting. Also, how do I get out of here? Do we have dirt? We do. I don't really like building up mountains with blocks like dirt is disguisable enough, but most of the time I would prefer to not waste beautiful landscapes such as this. Alrighty. Okay. So, I do think I have everything I need. So we're just going to hop in a quick little, quick little, probably not quick. Well, it'll be quick for you, not quick for me. A quick little time lapse of our little build. So I will see you guys in a bit.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our lovely, lovely build over here. I'm actually kind of happy with it, which I didn't think I would be as much. It's going for, like, a cherry blossom kind of vibe, and I feel like it's really working. Um, we did have some design issues towards the end there, but I feel like we... See, this is the second item that's been here. Like, there was a uh, raw chicken earlier. Is this dude dropping? Like, it's supposed to be like a, oh, your cat's going out and grabbing things type of joke. Because if so, that's kind of cool. But still, weird. Okay, so. Now we are on to the final part of this little adventure. Basically, I got some coarse dirt, we got our shovel, um, dripstone, logs, and that's pretty much all we need. Basically, we're going to be digging, you know, I'll just, I'll just do it, and you guys can watch, and then you can decide for yourself whether I have made this build significantly worse, or if it's kind of vibey, alright? So let's hop back into this time lapse and I will see you guys in a second. Time lapse over and done. It is looking pretty spiffy, pretty spiffy, a nice little garden going. And right now I just want to commemorate our, where do we put you? We'll put you here. Our first diamond tool is about to break, so we'll hang him up right there to sleep at night too. We got to make some interior to this place urgently, but... I thought that cow was pillagers. I actually haven't seen pillagers, which surprises me. But oh well. I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining, no sir. No sir, no how. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. We'll do this. Alright. 
well, let's get a little, a little, give you a little toursies, even though you've been watching it. So we do have this very sh crappy wooden fence. It's not the best, but this is the point. It's kind of like a trench that we're going to farm our cow friends in. And clearly they are getting estranged from each other, but hopefully there'll be enough cows in here someday that it will be filled, filled to the brim. I do like using drip stones as spikes. Um, they do have kind of a cool design. I think I ripped this off of green, but whatever. Uh, we don't really have enough wood to kind of finish it, and it's also not as big a scale as I'd like. It's not really as dramatic as I would have hoped, but for for a little garden before we even get like iron armor, I think this is pretty good. Wow. The little cherry blossom tree lines up really well with the sun. Um, and I do think it's kind of vibey, to be honest, for a second there. And I still kind of think it looks terrible, but it's not awful, awful. You know what I mean? You got like these little, little flowers, I guess, with blossoming, I guess, fruits, I mean, with flower petals coming off them. It is kind of cool. I think it will look a lot better when all the wheat is down too, but that's going to take forever. That's over a stack of seeds. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. One last thing. One last thing. I forgot. I forgot. We have a sign. Why do we have a sign? To name our beautiful, beautiful... No, 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 no. Why, why would I ever put that there? Can you put this on a fence? No. That'd be too cool for Minecraft. Okay. So right here, this will be called... The Enchanted Gardens. <laughs> Get it? Because that's for the wheat and that's for the that's for the leather so that we can make bookshelves. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, to make our enchantment table? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, ah? Uh. Alright, I'll just go jump on a dripstone.